Theoretically, it is possible to hack a system, a computer system, and create you know, technological disaster so that uh, it causes human casualties. It is possible. Every time I read news about some technological disaster, you know, like trains crashed or you know, missing planes or whatever, I'm starting thinking about you know, how uh, deeply involved computer systems are on, on, this, uh, on these devices, on these machines, on these systems. This, this scares me a lot because I understand that you know, sometimes this evil genius computer hack may lead to human death. We wanted Watch Dogs to be a game that you know, is reflective of, of the real world we're living in so that we can, we can be part of that conversation that says, hey, what's, what do we think of this technology and, uh, and, and the fact that we're putting all our data out there. We aren't quite seeing a CTOS controlling a whole city but uh, you know the, the the amount of influence corporations have on uh, technology, the access they have to technology, is uh, uh, it's been shocking. Uh, it's usually based on something we call the SCADA hack. SCADA are controllers. You find in industries and in almost everywhere. And in the past 20 years, they've started uh, plugging them on the on the net because it was easier to to control them from a remote distance than going into the. Uh, the, the compound or the, the center and the things. Uh, what happened is that SCADA elements are controlling everything, valves, uh, electricity, everything. You can do everything with those, with those things. It's just everywhere around us, even if we don't know about this. Uh, street lights are controlled by such systems. And if they are connected to a network which is directly or indirectly connected to a global network, then it can be potentially hacked. And most of such systems are obsolete right now. They are not up to date. And that creates a big risk and potential, opens the potential for hacks which we can see in the watchdogs. A lot of these hacks that are already implemented in the game according to the script, they are kind of from the future. So these things are not happening like every day. I could imagine that the most advanced hackers, elite hackers could do that, but uh, you know, very, very few people in the world uh, are on this level of you know, doing that. But we just pushed the envelope a little more and this opened everything. Uh, especially in the, uh, the fact of bridging data with physical elements, like you know, all the, everything you can see in the game, all the hacks that have an effect in the world. We were always having this philosophy of being uh, two day plus one week or two day plus three weeks. But throughout the development, everything we felt was a little far-fetched. Every two weeks, every month, we're just like reminded, no, 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 it's happening right now and we're just right on track. Everything now is a huge computer network. All of these devices are connected directly or indirectly to a computer network. And even, even those which are isolated, which are in a separate protected uh, networks, are still reachable for uh, cyber attacks. There's a whole other generation that's coming up that's quite used to putting every bit of information about themselves online. Uh, every single details, every, every secret we may have had 10 years ago, how easy we give them without asking anything in return. I mean, uh, transparency is something we'll have to discuss shortly. I'm not saying we should be Luddites, but I think it's worth saying, hey, well, <laughs> what does that mean? What are the consequences of that? Uh, what does that mean if corporations have access to that, if the government has access to that? And that's, that's I think, what, what the, the game does too. It challenges you in, in that regard all the time. You know, you, you have that profiler, you can scan people and, and, and learn information about them. You can get their bank accounts. You start using that information for good in a way, you know, I'm, I'm not going to steal from him, he's poor, he's unemployed. I'll steal from him, he's rich. <laughs> no. But even that, you're still stealing. <laughs> We're not going to pretend this game has all, our, all the answers, uh, but I like that the game can come out and be a part of the discussion. You know, hopefully players put down their controllers and they just sort of think about what they saw in the game, what that means to what's going on in the real world, what they're reading in the headlines, and then we just become part of the conversation. Yeah.